Hey guys, Comment Lurker here. Welcome back. I have tons and tons of vine wafers. Far more than I'll need to get to uh, even Bethuzima Huzima. So, before I go, let's pick up some stuff that I want. I believe we have no good weapons at all whatsoever. Not that it really matters because we're not planning to use weapons all that much. So, let's. we, we may as well pick up something to uh, equip ourselves with. We'll take, pick this up and we'll pick this up. And let's actually equip this stuff. Equip. And actually, I think that we uh, yeah, we have a glow sphere, so we don't actually want to do that. I take that back. Let's put that stuff on the ground and uh, pick up some more water because we are an amphibian. Let's find this water right here and get it. Now, one thing I realized later that I should have done is come over to these guys and buy them all out of all their water vine. There's a button I could, hold, I could press to uh, instantly get all of it. But, uh, I don't know what it is, uh, at all. So, oh well. Let's just do that, and yep, I'm actually losing 0.7 drams of water, but I don't care so much. He doesn't have anything more to trade, and we have far more water vines than we know what to do with. So let's travel on the world map, and move up here. We immediately get lost, but that's okay, because maybe we'll find a traveling trader. One thing I don't understand with this game is how you find traveling traders. It seems like it's the same as, uh, layers and such. Where you find traveling traders by going to places that uh, the game already decided traveling traders were going to be uh, findable. But I'm not entirely sure why I'm going after these guys. Now, I'm not entirely sure uh, if it, they're more common to find certain places like um, the Salt Dunes or whatever it's called. The Salt Desert. That place seems to... Uh, and other people's let's plays have more uh, traders. It make more sense. It makes sense because um, because I'm being attacked and I need to get something done to kill them all. Because they have great salt packs, whatever they're called. So, and I think also if you read the description, it says something about um, well, two two places blocked by shale. Okay, that's not so good. This discontinuous uh, stuff is. Weird. Oh well, let's go back to the world map and uh, finally get lost again. Now, let's get to Grit Gate. Let's see if we can do that. Someone reaches through the aggregate mind again, stupid jerks. Oh well. Let's reach Grit Gate. And I believe now the glitch is fixed where there was nothing here. Now there is something here. We kill that guy very easily, and here is uh, one of those jerks that uh, is an esper that we hate. We don't like espers at all. All espers are evil. So, let's just get this with our Esper character, and, uh... Oh, look at all those guys over there. Let's use Toast on that guy, because he's dangerous. And then let's try to get take care of these guys with one shot each. And, <clears throat> we are, uh, full HP immediately, uh, still. With our amazing Esper of amazingness. Uh, wow, we, we are getting surrounded, so I'm going to let them surround me. Disintegration! Yes, look at all those corpses that I'm wasting. Um, let's go up, 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 and we are going to tap into the aggregate mine, because we may as well, I need to use that more, and we gain a terrible level, 2 HP again. Now uh, it needs to be, uh, I don't know, a little bit less random, I guess. I, I, I suppose it's a little bit fun to, uh, be able to have terrible characters that have no HP whatsoever, but then you can use precognition, and it just makes precognition that much more cheap to, uh, be able to rely on that to, to build a character that much stronger than the uh, norm. And this guy is going to kill us if we're not careful. So let's actually not attack him with our melee attack because hitting him with our melee attack would mean that we get hit by some of his uh, pricks. Stupid guys with their pricks. So we're going to want to avoid that and uh, kill this way droid. We are going to use uh, disintegration, why not? Let's just use everything that we have, just randomly. Oh, there's an Esper. But he's not dangerous. We killed him. And we got a no Worm Skull out of the deal. Hooray, even though we have uh, more than enough of those. Let's kill this guy before he runs off and kills that albino ape that we want to kill. And wow, this Laze, I thought it was really weak, because if you look at the actual thing, Laze doesn't actually get that much stronger as you uh, move on. It goes from uh, 1d5 plus 1... What? That's weird. Next level, oh, 1d4 plus 2. 
Well, whatever. It, it, it goes up very little each level, but I guess it's not so ter totally weak, even uh, with considering all this. So, let's actually not go into that to use everything. Instead, let's be a little intelligent. Get that albino ape dead. And I'm actually clearing this place out so it'll be easier to come here and rest later on. Which I do plan to do. So, I'm going to try to get both of these within my disintegration, even though I have uh, ma the mass mind thing at my disposal. Kill this guy before he can hurt me anymore. And, uh... I don't have the tap the mass mind, because I already used it. But I'm going to get toast soon, so this guy will be pr no problem. Let's pick this up before, uh... We destroy it accidentally with one of our attacks, and let's keep on going into that menu instead of using our hotkeys, because we're smart. Uh, you are now on fire, so let's run away and let the fire kill you. You are now badly wounded. I don't even have to go there. I could just click, I could look at this. I don't know why I always want to look at the character. Uh, let's just keep moving on. I think this place is mostly cleared out. Let's take a nap to test it out. And let's eat some delicious, um thing after I accidentally press the wrong buttons to move around. Nope, we are full enough to not have to eat that. So I'll just move the mouse out of the way and stop being obnoxious. Uh, let's make this guy follow us and uh, kill him now. Yes, our lays seems... Whoa, we are weak as stuff. Let's try to kill him instantly so he doesn't do anything. I don't know what I was thinking trying to melee the guy. Up oh, there's a guy over there I just missed. Let's travel over here so we can see who he is and hit him with that. And now let's hit this guy with our lays and miss because lays can only go so far. Yeah, he's in perfect health, so I'm just wasting my lasers. Now he's actually injured. And he's going to die soon enough. Maybe even to lays. Um, let's use toast on him. I didn't even have to walk all the way closer to him like that. I don't know why I did that. Let's take a nap here for a little bit of HP, and come right back up here to explore a little bit more. So, let's see. More trees. You can actually stand on these trees. Before, I don't think you could stand on any trees, so that's a little weird. Let's have this guy follow us to our safety spot, because I hate him. Actually, we could probably just take care of him here. I just don't want um, something else getting involved. Here, now we could just uh, have him... F no, we c he's dead. It doesn't matter. Uh, that's weird. I wonder if we could, uh, just set, set guys on fire, leave the map, and let the fire kill them. I wonder if the fire would even go out if that happens, or if there's a glitch where it doesn't know to let the fire out eventually. That would be a very good thing to use in that one place that, uh, I died last time. Whoa, you are killing me. How about I not hold down stupid buttons like that? I'm gonna use all my abilities at once. Nope, I'm not gonna use all my abilities at once. Why am I not just doing this? Now I'm gonna use all my abilities at once to make sure you die before you can do anything to me. And there's an H. Shoot. Okay. Um. I don't like you, H. Let's tap into the aggregate mine. I don't remember how, what, what I set the hotkey to for that. And let's kill this H. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is not good. Um. Oh, yes. Wait a second. What am I thinking? We have tons of witchcraft bark. Let's get the huma. Let's eat the huma huma. And, uh, let's use lays on the, uh, blank space next to me, because definitely confusion isn't making me, uh, think the H is somewhere different than it is. And it's definitely not predictable where the guy should be later on. Let's move further away from that equipment, so that I don't accidentally destroy something I like. I can't see if there's anything I like there. And let's use, uh, this to accidentally open the way to a new enemy to zap us, and hurt us again for lots of HP. Perfect. Perfect. Run away, run away, this is the runaway game, whoa, well he's faster than we are so we don't want to be uh, constantly running away from him, though I think we heal faster than, uh, and make it really matter that much, we have lays too, so let's get him with that, and let's take a nap right here because we can, whoa I don't like these guys at all, those guys are really nasty, so I'm going to wait over here and let him walk over towards us, so that he doesn't get those millions of turns in. And then I'm going to use, uh, actually I'm just going to use Disintegration. What do I have that set to? Shift 07. Uh, is this it? Yes. And now he's dead, and let's eat a board corpse. Yeah. Delicious. Is an eyeless crab. Oh well, it's not going to be so useful. And a wall. That's especially not going to be useful. Although we can destroy this stuff very easily with disintegration, so we want to be careful not to uh, unlock areas that enemies are sitting in and let them uh, kill us instantly. 
Speaking of killing us instantly, um, let's use toast right there and run away. Take a nap, and we got lots of uh, experience for that. Let's use that again to take care of this guy. And I don't think that this will involve uh, losing any loot. Maybe if stuff beyond the wall had loot, but uh, besides that, I don't think so. So I think this is going up. Oh yeah, this is a stupid glitch. I want to um, update the uh, it's a compass bracelet. I want to update the game to a more recent version that will uh, not have this glitch where you can only drop, you can't uh, pick it up. I did look on the version history, and apparently there is um, there is a fix to it. But when I tried to play this character and then fix, it did not work. So we're just going to have to work with this for right now. It'd be nice, though, actually, if you could have both drop and uh, pick up. Because sometimes it's nice to um, be able to just lay the stuff on the ground so you know which chest you've opened, even if you don't necessarily want the stuff in it now. So let's pick up what we actually care about. The iron buckler, is that better than what we have? We already have an iron buckler, that's what I thought. And let's not get that basic uh, useless toolkit. Here's a door to, that serves no purpose. And we can uh, explore this place. See that there's nothing in here. Probably because we destroyed it all if there ever was. And let's move on. All the way up here. Let's explore a bit more of this area. Even though we could just move on downstairs and try to get, to get faster, let's uh, realize that this door is closed. No, there's actually a way in here without using disintegration. That's nice. It's always nice to not have to use disintegration to uh, get through a wall. And we poured fresh water all over ourselves. That reminds me. I want to see how our fresh water situation is. Yeah, we have way more than enough. We use 17 water. And it's so easy to carry huge number amounts of water. It's just ridiculous. We don't have to worry about that at all. Uh, looks like these guys are actually very susceptible to lays at its current level. Oh, yes. And um, I was really dumb. These are not... Um, glitching at all. This is how it's supposed to be. There's some kind of floor, this, that thing that I don't understand because I'm stupid. I'm going to look more into that and probably put up an annotation at some point or actually just tell you exactly w what that stuff means, but for right now I'm not going to, so oh well. Uh, we may as well invest some uh, mutation points then because i also se seen uh, a few more special uses for some attacks like Stunning Force. And we got Domination. That's a good ability. And teleportation is also a good ability. I want both of those. Uh, but since we already have phasing, uh, not phasing, um, disintegration, teleportation is not going to be so useful. Uh, it's good for a tight spot, but oh well. Let's get some more abilities. And electrical generation, that's very good. We got lots and lots of uh, 